Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. All right, folks, we thank you for continuing to stick around here on BTW 21. I'm Weatherman Dustin Staples. As always, we sincerely do appreciate your company for making time to watch us here on air and also online. We hope you are doing well. And yes, it was a little gloomy today. We did get some activity breaking up this afternoon, and it did appear that most of the rain was able to kind of lift and get out of the area before your lunch break. So maybe you had a chance to get out there and kind of drive around in the gloomy and the clouds and stuff like that. Now, something it has been a benefit to that. It's been warmer, but not as warm as it was on Monday, though. So again, if you're not seeing any rain just now, you're seeing just a few passing clouds. And then we're going to see some light rain showers develop for us later on tonight as our temperatures are going to remain pretty cool out there in the 40s for a majority of us. Again, our sunset's coming there. 542 late in the afternoon a little overnight we'll see chances of rain increasing uh, for us if you've been watching on the national level parts of the deep south the mid-south uh, Texas Oklahoma even parts of northern Louisiana even uh, Missouri and especially Tennessee uh, hard hit Memphis area they have picked up almost a quarter of inch of ice and caused several car accidents on I-40. Of course, you know, that's a very uh, travel, heavily traveled interstate uh, through parts of Tennessee going into Missouri and Arkansas. Now they're expected to see not one, but two more waves of ice and freezing rain moving in tonight. And then they have another wave of moisture, which is prompting us because we've been so warm, we're just gonna get rain from all of this. So there's no wintry weather expected uh, in our forecast. The most I could possibly see is that we may see a few flurries at best, if anything, uh, sometime tomorrow and or on Thursday. But other than that, I'm not expecting any snow potentials, no freezing rain, just a plain old cold rain as our temperatures are just too warm to get below freezing in order to uh, develop that, which is a plus because the good news is that if we were seeing freezing rain and ice that would kind of trick, uh, make a tricky travel uh, for a lot of our individuals having to go into work tomorrow. So no ice expected. Temperatures are above freezing. 30s for everybody. Rocky Mount, Boone's Mill, George Stewart, Ararat, and Woolwine coming in the mid-30s as well. Again, the warmest spot, again, both in the city and in Ridgeway coming in at 38 degrees. Rain showers moving overnight as another wave of moisture makes its way into the region. So this is round two for us. Again, elsewhere across the United States and the Deep South are seeing that freezing rain potential. Now, tomorrow morning, it's going to wake up. They're going to see some rain where we are going to begin to see drying out conditions for us. So if you're doing anything tomorrow, just do know that it, the sun will eventually come out. Maybe if you don't see s plenty of sun, a partly to mostly cloudy sky is the most likely to be the theme for us. It's going to be cooler than average, so running a few degrees below normal as we do wrap up the or we do welcome February. We're wrapping up January. January again is now going down. It's one of the mildest months in winter. Uh, and again, fun fact, it's been about uh, the longest stretch without any snowfall was been now is going to date back until 2007 where our area did not pick up any snow until the mid uh, till the 6th, the 5th of January for our region and not much snow is expected for the next uh, month or the next weekend. Hopefully we'll see snow uh, in our back gardens. And so we're going now as one of the longest stretches with no snow ever recorded in this area for so for some time so long again 40 is just too warm for snow but well above rain and that well enough warm for rainfall for a lot of our hometowns again mix of clouds and sun i per se our friends towards here patrick county kind of closely and southern to the border there from ridgeway all the way down over to stewart and air rat you may break out the clouds and see a few breaks of sun but the meanwhile the rest of you all may remain barely to mostly cloudy skies at times but we'll see rain in the morning and in the afternoon we'll see a partly to mostly cloudy sky develop for the majority of our areas. So moving on now to your ratings forecast I'm giving tomorrow. I was nice enough to give you all a five because again it's going to be a half and half day. Again 45 to the high so the average is 40. Excuse me the average high for February is actually 49 so we're again welcoming February on a wet and cold no and I did tell you cold air was going to begin February. 
but the snow is just uh, something that we cannot seem to get a hold of. Let's move on now to the uh, weekend forecast. A lot of you may have plans. Something else you probably have heard around the national level. If you watch like the, the weather networks or if you follow people on social media, the big time meteorologists, I mean, you know, I'll make it someday over here, right? Hey, they're expecting parts of the Northeast. Get this, the coldest air in about almost five years as wind chills could dip as low as minus 50 in some parts of Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, uh, Massachusetts. They're expecting wind chills, not temperatures, to dip between minus 20 and minus 45 degrees in some areas. Now again, uh, Mount Washington is up there. So I believe it's in Vermont or New Hampshire. I'm gonna get a, I know I'm gonna get a complaint about this if I don't get my geography, but Mount, but Mount Washington is up north and I believe it's in uh, New Hampshire. I may be wrong about that, but they've seen some extremely bitter cold temperatures. And again, a shout out to our Peter Forrester there. You know that, you know that name pretty well. I wouldn't imagine, it wouldn't surprise me if you traveled up there just because of how bitterly cold it's gonna be. We're not going to be getting cold, but Friday night into Saturday morning, teens, wind chills again in the single digits for us, nowhere near where they're going to be seeing highs below zero, highs in the single digits and teens for this upcoming up weekend. So that's well up north for us. No freezing or frigid weather, a mix of clouds and sun staying well below average for the first weekend of February, breezy at times. We will see increasing clouds late Saturday night. We may just have enough. Uh, cold air. If there's a storm system riding across, it's going to stay well to the south of us like everything has been doing, or it's going to go around us somehow. It magically does that, right? Maybe a stray isolated shower, but not expecting anything widespread. Just again, Sunday morning cloud, a mix of clouds and sun in the morning that'll develop into a very seasonable daytime high. Again, our high is 49. We're going to click that on the marker. Finally, before we wrap now, we're going to start wrapping things up here. We got a few minutes left to do so as again, uh, temperatures across much of the United States from the East Coast are going to be welling above the average seasonal forecast high. We got above average temperatures. Here's the cold air. It's stuck out west. Not moving this way anytime soon, thanks to that ridge giving us, we've got uh, the wedge out to the west. We've got a building ridge of high pressure to the east, prompting that soaring high temperatures for our region. So can't tell you we're going to be seeing any snow anytime soon. You're going to have to go well up north. I know they're expecting f d f uh, brutal cold temperatures there. Meanwhile, no snow here. The ice threat, freezing rain threat, will continue as you make your way towards the deep south. Do stick around. We have a lot more programming to get to. Your BTW 21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer Chiropractic.